Now to the future of Liverpool and the club's owners, Fenway Sports Group. Well, they've agreed to sell a minority stake. Our chief reporter, Carve Solico, joins me now. All right, Carve, just talk us through this. What are the details? Well, look, uh, Liverpool owners for quite a while have been looking for some outside investment. And they announced this afternoon that they had sold a stake in the club. Now, they haven't said how much for exactly and how big or small the stake is. But we understand they're selling a small stake for up to $200 million. So that is about £160 million. Pounds. Now, this stake is being bought by a US private equity firm called Dynasty Equity. And they are paying between $100 million and $200 million. So between £80 million pounds and £160 million. Pounds. Now, who are they? Uh, they're a company that was set up last year by two men. Uh, the first one is a man called Jonathan Nelson, who's a US asset manager. Uh, the other one is a gentleman called Don Cornwell, who is a US investment banker. And this is their first investment. But they're planning on making lots of other investment, buying minority stakes in sports clubs around the world. Now, Liverpool did also have talks with other investment groups, uh, but I think they felt that this was the only one that was a right fit. Now, a lot of people are asking the question, were Liverpool up for sale? Is this the end of a process which started with Fenway Sports Group trying to sell the club and then changing their mind and thinking, no, we'll just sell a small stake? My understanding of the situation is that Liverpool were not for sale. Yes, two investment banks were retained last November to look at investment options, but Liverpool were only ever really looking for an investment. And that is what they've got today. So, 100 plus million quid coming into the coffers. Is Jurgen Klopp going like this, going, this is my transfer kitty? <laughs> you sound like a Liverpool fan. Uh, I know you're no. not. I know you're not. I know you're not. Uh, no, I think we should make it clear that this money is not going to go towards future transfers. What it is going to go towards is paying down debt uh, because Liverpool, like every other club in the world, were affected by the pandemic. So it will go towards paying off some of the debts that were built up during and after the pandemic. And it will also go towards paying and financing capital expenditure. I'm thinking, for instance, uh, redevelopment of Anfield, uh, the building of a new training ground, buying back the former training ground, Melwood. Also, I think it would go towards paying for some of the transfers uh, that were made during the last window. But the simple answer to your question is, no, the money's not going to go towards a transfer war chest for Jurgen Klopp going forward. I don't think that would be a clever way to spend the money. Now, when we chatted about this before we came on air, you said this could have implications for Manchester United. Explain. Well, I think Manchester United supporters will be looking at this and obviously uh, they will know their club has effectively been for sale for almost a year now and there's been very little progress. And they'll be looking at Liverpool and thinking that this process, as far as Liverpool were concerned, started at the same time and Liverpool have got something. Is this something that the Glazers would contemplate at Manchester United? Could we see them staying and only selling a minority stake in Manchester United. I still think that is a possibility. You know, it's still possible that they'll sell the club to Sheikh Jassim. It's still possible that they'll sell the club to Sir Jim Ratcliffe. It's still possible that they'll sell a minority stake. It's still possible that they won't sell the club at all. It's down to the Glazers to decide that. And there's not just one Glazer. Uh, the club is owned by six different members of the family. Uh, but I think Manchester United supporters will be looking at this and thinking, I've got to choose my words carefully, I think most Manchester United supporters would not be happy for this kind of deal to happen at Manchester United because whenever there's been a survey, the vast majority of Manchester United supporters want the Glazers to leave. They don't want the Glazers to stay and just sell a minority stake. But it is something that they have been contemplating. To be honest, you didn't have to... Keep your words, uh, choose your words carefully at all there. Uh, Carmen Solicol, our chief reporter, thank you.